Hey everybody, this is Dream, and today we're going to be reviewing Book Quest. Book Quest is developed uh, by Nerd Games and East Asia Soft Limited and published by East Asia Soft. Uh, so this particular game is a action-adventure, kind of RPG-style game. Basically in this game, he plays this little character whose grandfather has moved on, but uh, he had a secret that he was a... Uh, person of magic who had the magic book and then you find the magic book and it gets stolen from you and then your grandfather reveals that his wife was taken from him at a time and he was trying to get her back but failed and so your job is to get your magic book back and uh defeat the enemies along the way that are trying to stop you and uh avenge your grandfather's uh wife i guess so it's kind of straight um it's a kind of a strange story, it's not great or anything, uh, and the game is very monotonous, and what I mean by that is, is it's literally just a bunch of going back and forth. Uh, you see these little, uh, things that had berries on them. They just had berries on them the entire time, but I was unable to pick them up until I got to a point where I could get to a quest where I needed them. Then, of course, the character actually makes the statement, I've seen these berries the entire time. I should have picked them up. It's like, well, I tried, actually, and I was unable to. I really dislike when games do this, where they literally just make plot points where you just have to run back and forth in order to make time go far, like, last longer in the game. It's very kind of annoying, and uh, this game just utilizes that to the highest potential possible. Um, I want to like this game because I do tend to like RPGs, but this is very difficult to enjoy when... Most of the game is just like running around trying to figure that out. Uh, the combat in the game is also extremely lackluster. Uh, the the button mashing aspect, well it's not even button mashing, but like the, so you see I have like a little sword and you have different stuff you can upgrade, which is kind of silly, kind of, once you play it you'll understand I think. But like it just doesn't, there's not a lot of, uh, it doesn't, you know, respond very fast or well i mean there's like a couple second delay and then it's not even like consistent when it comes to the distance um and it's just you know that's rather annoying not only that but even the pickups in the game you know like okay so this tree it serves four berries on it but it's clearly only giving me one or something and that's kind of silly but then if i pick up these uh, red berries it gives me four so like how does that even make sense <laughs> I don't know, yeah, it's just stuff like that where they're just intentionally making the game take longer on purpose. Oh look, I can't pick up berries again. Um, that's kind of stuff I don't like in video games. Like, especially RPGs. Like, either make it so I can't, you know, so I'm gonna explore a new area, or... But don't put the, like, plot devices in the areas that I've already been, and then make me backtrack them just to get that item again later. I mean, that's just super lazy. Uh, I feel like this game is just not uh, well put together. Um, you know, it's very small. And it has a lot of little, like, minigame style things, which are just completely designed to waste your time. Because even that, okay, so, like, I have to go back to the place because I got the 20 berries. So when I go back, when I come to this area, I have to do a mini game to get here. But when I go back, I don't have to do it, which is kind of silly. Like, it's completely there just for the aspect of uh, forcing you to have to deal with that and so i don't know it's just that kind of thing really grinds my gears in these types of games thankfully the price point in this game is not very high and it's a fairly easy game to play i will add to the point that the uh being the controls being kind of wonky it does make the combat very difficult uh in some aspects once you figure out, like, some tricks to get through the combat, it's actually pretty fast and easy. But at the very beginning, like, the first boss, uh, I had some difficulty, actually, until I realized that there was, like, a, a little spot on the back side of the dragon where I could literally just stand and wait. <laughs> like, just, I don't know, just... <clears throat> but then again, like, why would you even... Uh, you know, I don't know. It's just bad when... They didn't put a lot of effort in making the combat interesting, and they didn't make it effort in making it work very well. And so, and even then, like, the storyline itself is extremely linear. Like, you can't do 
<coughs> different things. Like, for instance, I picked up the Lumberjack Axe, which is a quest that the Lumberjack asked me to do. But until I get to some quest where I actually need to talk to the Lumberjack again, I can't even give it to him to complete the quest. Like, how is that kind of ridiculous? And I presume that that's because he's going to give me something that's going to help me at some other point. But again, that's just like, it's completely m monotonous, pointless, that I can't go... Oh look, I just... I mean, I've been to this fisherman house so many times, <laughs> trying to go inside and he couldn't let me. Until I get a quest that says, talk to the fisherman. But like, I could have definitely utilized talking to this guy and doing his quest so I could up... Like, it just... Stuff like that really irritates me about these kind of games. I really like RPGs that are well put together and well thought out. This one just isn't, so... Um, unfortunately, unless you just want the achievements, which are gonna come pretty fast, I would, uh, not recommend playing this one too much. It's just kind of annoying, and, uh... <laughs> I don't even know. So, now I have to go to the beach, which doesn't even make a ton of sense. Like, where am I... where is the beach even? Oh, so I do have a map, but the map is very, not very helpful. So I guess I'll just search for the different exits and see if one of them is the way to go. It's not that one. It's probably the one down below, to be honest, but... It just seems like that there's a lot of, you know, running around in circles where you don't actually have to... You know, where you skip stuff that you would normally want to pick up and deal with. Well, see, like this, okay, but I just, no, look, <laughs> I'm so angry, I just talked to the lumberjack at the beginning of the game, and now he's like, I don't know how to chop down wood, even though the lumberjack chopped down the same kind of wood on a different path, like, ten minutes ago, <laughs> and so now I gotta go talk to the, oh, uh, jeez, I think the, the path is blocked. Get help. Oh, well, no kidding. Talk to- Oh, well, now- It's just- That- That- th That threat- That thread is simply so that I take more time to go from point A to point- When I already knew what I needed to do. Is- I hate when games do this. It's just- Yeah. Anyhow, that's all I'm gonna do for this game. I don't recommend this game other than for the achievements. It's just very bland, very simple, and a lot of just running back and forth for no good reason, so- um, yeah. If you do pick the game up, let me know in the comments what you think about it. How many say, guys?